As we hurtle uncontrollably towards another Christmas, I thought to myself, you know what would be a nice, cosy, quick Christmas project? Needle felted baubles. And then our local shop ran out of red wool and Royal Mail went on strike and delayed all the posts by at least a week. And now we're halfway through December and everyone already has their baubles sorted. But you know what? I really love stabbing stuff. So I just barreled on with this video anyway and I hope someone out there still has a use for it. In our house then, we stick to pretty classic colours for the Christmas decorations. Mostly red and white. Also not pictured, we have silver, which that's basically just a kind of white, right? And the odd bit of green appearing in some of the more special baubles. Of course, I also have this awesome Packers bauble, but we'll be skipping the yellow today. So red, white and green. I can definitely make up some pretty festive designs with these. And I have this black on standby too, because one of the designs I have in mind refuses to be constrained by just the other three colours. So these are the five designs I came up with. Pretty simple and should be fairly easy to make. I'll put chapters along the bottom of this video, and if you just want to see how to make a specific bauble, you can skip to that with only minor hard feelings. For everyone else though, let's just start at the beginning. All of these bauble designs are just basic ball shapes, so that's what we need to make first. I'll quickly show you two ways, and you can just choose whichever one you have the supplies for. Sound good? The first option is to use a polystyrene ball. These ones are 8cm in diameter, and they're maybe a bit big compared to our other baubles now that I compare, but hey, go big or go home, right? They're available in all kinds of sizes though, so you can get something a little bit more sensible. Lay your wool out flat, plonk the ball in the middle, and just wrap it up nice and cosy. There's no way this needle is going all the way through the polystyrene, so it's pretty safe and doesn't require the felting mat. But you'll want to be more careful if you're using a smaller ball. Felt everything down, first with a larger needle just to secure it in place, and then using finer needles to get that sweet, sweet texture we're always looking for. You can add more small bits of wool as needed to cover any bare or uneven bits, and maybe put some motivational tunes on because on a ball this size it took about 20 minutes. You should end up with something very solid and sturdy, like so. The second method for making a ball is to use wool. You could use your main colour to make the whole thing, but that's pretty wasteful, so most people use very cheap filler known as core wool. Or you can always substitute generic polyfill, which is what I'll be doing because it's what I've got handy. Rip off a chunk of your wool, scrunch your core wool or polyfill into a ball, and wrap the outer wool around it. Note to self, you really need a more photogenic felting mat. You'll want to ball up the filler and wrap your outer wool around it as tight as you can to help speed up the initial felting. You'll probably start off with more of a sausage shape than a ball. That's totally fine and normal. You can just fold it lengthways to round one side off and get it closer to the intended outcome. Keep felting, keep turning the piece around, and you might need to attach more wool where you've gathered all the edges together to smooth that section out. If you've used polyfill like me, you'll find it's always going to be quite squishy no matter how much you felt it, but that can be an advantage because you can just roll and squeeze it into shape with your hands. Once you're happy with the general shape, break out that finer needle for a pass and bosh! Beautiful. Or beautiful enough, so I'll stop here. Polyfill core on the left, polystyrene ball on the right. As you can see, they both end up pretty good. And here's some I made earlier. Whoops. Okay, needle felted bauble idea the first. And we'll start with the easiest one, because why not? Here I have my base shape, and I've taken a bit of the green and rolled it into a narrow sausage. I'm now going to just literally wrap it around the bauble in whatever direction feels good at the time. This is a streamer, they go everywhere. You can see my sausage wasn't quite long enough to go all the way around, but I'll just secure this first part in place before filling that gap. All it needs is a few stabs to stay where it's told. Filling in that gap with another little sausage and... I've accidentally made something that looks like the remaining hairline of a balding monk. But trust the process. Now, exactly the same thing, but with the red. I'm honestly just making up the placement of this as I go. I decided to have the red sometimes overlap the green, but sometimes end at the green to make it look like it passes under. Just mind your fingers when you're stabbing near edges like this. Once that's all laid out, you'll want to go over both lines and felt them down properly until they're flat. To tidy up the edges, you can lightly fold stray fibres in with the thumb of your other hand and then carefully, carefully felt them down. 
Go slow and pay attention, because if you have not stabbed yourself with a felting needle before, believe me, they are sharp and they hurt. Now I'm going to add two more streamers, but this time much thinner ones. Like so. There we go, just a nice easy abstract pattern to get us started off. We'll come back and look at how to finish these for hanging at the end of the video, but first let's move on to design number two. Again, I'm starting off with a sausage, this time a little thin one in red. I'm using this to mark out my centre line because I'm bad at dividing things equally by eye. Same with the green going in the opposite direction, and there we go, we have four segments. The lines are pretty rough, but they are just guidelines, so it's okay. To make our curved segments then, take a little bit of wool and lightly tug on each end to tease it out into something resembling the shape we're going for. You'll want to keep reshaping it as you go, and you can see my first attempt here is a bit narrow and not curved enough, so yep, I just add more wool and problem solved. It's the exact same process on each side, so skip to the end. Ta-da! You could absolutely leave it like this, but I'm going to add just a little bit more detail on the green segments. A thin white line down the middle there just adds a little bit of oomph. Repeat on the other side, and that's another finished bauble. For design three, let's mix it up. I'm starting with a solid red base this time. Take a long, even strip of white and wrap it around the middle of the bauble. Okay, hang on, that's way too much. Fold that in half and try again, and yeah, much better. Go over this quite roughly at first just to secure it in place and check that the white strip is even all the way around. You can help yourself out by holding your thumb and finger of the other hand at a fixed width like this as you rotate around the ball. Once that's in place we want the white to be as flush and flat as possible against the base red, so as with most problems in life the solution is more stabbing. To make the dots you'll want a real small amount of red. Roll it into a ball, place in the middle of the white strip and secure it in place. If you want a more 3D effect, you could totally just secure this and leave it sticking up from the surface, but I want mine to be quite flat, so I'm going to felt it down some more. Now it's just a case of repeating on all sides. I'm going for six dots and I'll just eyeball the spacing, but you could always leave yourself a little pencil mark or something. You can also roll all six balls of red at the same time before attaching any, as an easy way to make sure they're all the same size. I didn't do that, and this is adorably wonky, but hey, that's handmade for you. <laughs> Bobble 4 is back to the white base, and fun fact, this one is apparently Dave's favourite that I've shown you so far. The trick to making a decent looking snowflake is going to be getting these lines as even as possible, so I've rolled out three red sausages and I'm just making sure they're roughly right before I attach anything. It's worth taking some care over the ends of these bits, as they'll look best if they end at a point, so just take your time and carefully shape any stray fibres. Once all three sausages are attached, you'll have something like this. Now for the detailing. It takes a very, very tiny amount of wool to make these details, so don't over egg it. Attach with a stab or two in the middle, make sure you're happy with the placement, and then you can carefully felt it in and bring each side to a nice little point. This part can be a little bit tedious, I'm not gonna lie, but as you can see, totally worth it. You can repeat that whole process on the back of the bauble, I'll do that bit off camera later because you don't need to see the exact same thing twice. You could also play around with this and add even more detail, maybe some white in the centre there. Get creative with it, knock yourself out. Alright, I'm bringing out the big boys for design 5. You can't have string lights without the string. So finally that black wool comes in handy. The first stage of this one is very much like that first design we made, it's just placing a long line of the black wool in whatever direction makes sense at the time and then joining it up at the end. Again you can see this is very rough, but just make sure you're happy with the placement before taking any time over making it neat and tidy and narrow. Now you could give your line a lot more twists and turns and have it cover more of the surface, but I'm going to add a second line of lights that crosses over the first. Either approach will work fine, just be aware that your light bulbs will need space, so don't go overboard with the black. To make the bulbs, first I'm just making a rough teardrop shape and attaching it lightly at the top to make sure it's sitting nicely against that black line. You can see I'm finalising the shape by lightly felting it all over and directing any problem lumps where I want them to go. Once you're happy with the shape, felt it down nice and flat, and one down, a million more to go. I'm alternating red and green lights and placing them above or below the black line just depending what I think looks best at the time. 
If you're unsure though, you could do a full rough pass attaching all of your lights at the top but not felting them down properly, and then if you do want to rearrange them, they can be easily pulled back off with no harm done. I just went for it though, and honestly, I love how this one turned out. So, that's five nicely decorated balls you've got there. But you know what they say, a ball isn't a bauble unless you can hang it. There are a few options for finishing these off, for example you can buy bauble caps such as these, which was my original plan until I realised how much they cost and how much I've spent already in December and oh my god I need to budget better next year. So instead I'll show you a couple of different ways, one involving this craft wire that I just happen to have lying around, and the other just simple needle and thread. The wire works really well on polystyrene balls. You can just snip off a short length like this, fold it in half, and carefully but firmly push it into the polystyrene. You might want to add a dab of glue on the ends first to stop it from sliding back out like this, but I've found that it tends to be pretty sturdy regardless once it's pushed all the way in. Just to note, if your bauble has a specific front side, you'll want to turn the wire side on before inserting it. Now grab some thread. I've broken out my trusty floss drops, but any similar thread will do. Take one strand nice and long and fold it in half so you have a loop at one end. Thread your needle so that that loop end is longer than the other one. All you need to do is pass your needle under the wire hook and through that loop end. Pull it closed and there you go, nice and secure. Decide how long you want your hanging loop to be, and here I chopped the thread to size before tying a double knot in it, but honestly it would be way easier to tie your knot first and then cut it, so do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> Beautiful. Now the problem with polyfill baubles is they're too squishy to push the craft wire in easily. Your mileage may vary with a stiffer wire or a core wool centre, but let's see how to get by without it. I've done the same as before, one strand of thread folded in half with the loop end longer than the other. First find the spot that will be the top of your bauble. You want to insert your needle just slightly to one side of this point, dig as deep as you can to catch as much fibre as possible, and come out just on the opposite side of that top point. Now, pass the needle through that loop and again a nice sturdy hanger. If you want to be extra sure you can pass under that top point again, pull through your new loop and now you're doubly attached. To finish, you can do the same as we did on the previous method, or if you don't trust a single thread to hold your bauble up, you can keep the double stranding by tying a knot around the base of your hanging loop and passing the needle back through your bauble until you're happy it's going nowhere. Trim off any extra bits and there we go. I think it's time to hang these babies in their natural habitat. some good last minute bauble ideas from this video. The great thing about needle felting is that it's just so creative and free. You can make things up on the spot and if you don't like how it's looking, you can just tear bits back off and try again. Have fun with it, you know? It's Christmas! Speaking of, my next video is pretty dang festive as well and I have a lot of work still to do on that. So uh, yeah, I better get going. I'll see you soon for some more crafty nonsense, so in the meantime, have a brilliant rest of your day and keep making cool stuff.